one. What's up, everybody? You're watching Union Mind, and I'm your host, Eric. And today we out here with EWM 626, EWMC Local 26, out here in the community off Banneker Avenue down here in DC. Um, we did a little community outreach today. We replaced some fixtures that were uh, inefficient, put up some LED fixtures that were efficient, and we had some apprentices come out and help us out. Um, introduce yourself to the people. Hey, I'm Logan Valley. Just joined up Local 26 in July. It's my first uh, outreach, and uh, yeah, had a great time. Now, Logan just joined uh, Local 26. He came from the non-union sector previously, so I kind of want to get a grasp of what the experience is like on a non-union job site. You said you were working commercial electric in the non-union yeah. sector. So how did that go for you uh, out of the field? What, what was the working conditions like? Uh, what was the experience like for you? Um, it was definitely, uh, I mean, it was like being thrown through a loop that first time getting into construction, um, being an electrician, getting out there, totally green. Um, yeah, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, conditions were okay. I mean, they were pretty subpar and then COVID hit. So a lot of conditions changed. Right. They had to be a lot more uh, stringent with cleaning. They provided more, you know, toiletries. We yeah, were finally able to wash our hands. Stuff so like you weren't that. able to wash your hands pre even, Nope. So the contractor wasn't taking care of all of that at the beginning. Anything. All right. How about tools and work conditions and things like that? Um, tools were bring your own tools. Uh, you had to supply your own bandsaw, uh, your own portable, you know, drill. Now that's impact. a large, that's a large expense on a, on a worker to have to come in and provide your own power tools. And then probably have to secure it yourself. They didn't provide gang boxes or anything like that. Um, not not for your tools. Nope, that was at your own risk kind of thing, and and I didn't like risking that. So how, so how long have you been actively working in the field as a 26 hand? Uh, since July, uh, this past July. Okay, all right. Now, it, what's what, what's the biggest difference you've noticed between a non-union job and a union job? Uh, immediately, just the demeanor, uh, how I'm being treated now um, by the GCs by the other trades. Right. Uh, it just seems like there's more of this respect, uh, more of a uh, community feeling at about the job site. A, how about the safety culture a lot better? Safety is much better. Mm -hmm. um, everything is supplied, that's another thing. You're only supplied, or I was only supplied uh, my first set, hard hat, safety glasses, uh, and gloves. Mm -hmm. The rest was up to me. They wear out, you know, that's on me. But now, you, now you get you get your replenishing. Your gloves run out. You go back. Yep. These new gloves. You don't have to bring your power saws. You don't have to bring your bandsaws, band saws. Your drills, and none of that. That's all provided. Just hand tools and show hand up to tools, work. Show up to work. Yep. Everything else is provided. Awesome. Right on. And how's yeah. a, how's apprenticeship been? Uh, that's the biggest difference I've noticed uh, coming from non-union apprenticeship and coming in to the JTC with Local 26. Uh, I mean, it's night and day. It's amazing. I've learned more this first year in the JATC apprenticeship uh, than I did in two years non-union. So it is definitely a different as far as uh, the quality of instruction you're receiving Absolutely. as a non-union apprentice versus a union apprentice. You feel it gives you more confidence than you had before okay. because they're actually giving you something that you could use in the field? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm actually getting that opportunity now to take what I'm learning in the classroom and apply it in the field. And I mean, that's just helping me uh, grow in ways that I wasn't before. Right on, right on. Awesome. Well, I wish you the awesome. best of luck. Keep Appreciate your nose it. to the grindstone, keep the work going, and make Thank sure you. you put the movement first, because that's what it was all about. Absolutely. Keep in mind, fight ain't uh, left to right, it's up and down. And it'll take solidarity to win always. Peace, thanks for Chris for filming this out. Appreciate you, brother. No problem, brother. All right.